Yourself? No, I don't. Those girls have to do it. Yeah, but that's the reality here. Fell in love with the Philippines? I don't think I ever want to leave. My publisher's giving me frantic wind-up signals, but I've managed to convince him it'd be crazy to leave before the election. The election won't change anything. Why? Because Marcos is going to cheat. He doesn't need to. He has years of political experience. He's an old political hack. How can she run the country? She's yeah, only... Yeah, I know. She's only a housewife. You know, I'm sick to death of hearing that line. Well, it's true. Look, just because she's had to play second fiddle to Ninoy all these years doesn't mean she's an idiot. Politics in this country is the toughest game there is. You've got to be able to cut deals and tough them out. Which, of course, no woman could ever do, let alone a housewife, right? <laughs> My God, it's all coming back to me. <laughs> what? Oh, you remember all those arguments we had in the bars in Saigon? <laughs> you know, when Tony first introduced you, he said that when you were at college together, you used to be a liberal. God, if it's true, you've been moving to the right at the speed of light ever since. <laughs> How is he? Professionally, firing on all cylinders. Personally, a mess. Yeah, well, don't expect me to shed any tears. And why'd you ask me? For we admit red support. In other words, she's getting help from the communists. Now, as for Marcos, Marcos warns on red danger. This is what I want to talk to you about this morning. Who is it? Mike. Come in. How you doing? All right. Corey's blown it. Read this interview she gave the New York Times. Marcos has distributed thousands of copies of it. She's going to call a ceasefire with the communists for six months so they can talk. Hmm. What, is she joking? Well, Marcos can cheat on the election. Reagan turns a blind eye. We all know Marcos is corrupt. That's not the goddamn point. Well, what is the goddamn point? We can't let this place fall into the hands of a housewife with a bunch of loopy left-wingers to advise her. You gotta stop boosting the woman, Tony. You guys in the press are giving her a free ride. Listen, I'm not giving anyone a free ride. And I'm not giving you guys a free ride either. Yeah? Well, be careful, buddy. Be careful? Be careful? What's that supposed to mean? What are you telling me? Told the official U.S. line or else? You can push whatever line you like, Tony, but this isn't home. You do too many more pieces, like you're a Melba story. Yeah, and of what? This is the Philippines. Guns, goons, gold. It's a dangerous life. Corey says she's willing to negotiate. Will the MP8 negotiate if she wins the election? That is up to the leadership. But the elections are irrelevant. The poor and the oppressed will not benefit whoever wins. Well, Corey says she's committed to Lambert. Corey is a Cohoanco, one of the richest families in the Philippines. Can you imagine a Cohoanco giving their land back to the peasants? Thanks, Brown. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Salamat. Pagbisita mo.
What are you doing here? I'm doing a story on the NPA. I hope you show them the truth. What is that? The truth? We help the poor people. Nobody else cares about them. But we do. Have you killed anybody? I have to go now. Mr. Marcos when it comes to experience. I admit that I have had no experience in cheating, stealing, lying, or assassinating political opponents. Oh my God. Alex is gonna have my ass. Alex. Yeah, Tony. Listen to me. Tomorrow's New York Times is running a story saying that Marcos's war records are a fraud. What? Well, according to Army war records, Marcos never led any guerrilla resistance group anywhere during the Second World War, and he never won a Congressional Medal of Honor. In other words, he's a liar. It's a real break for Corey. How did the New York Times get it? Don't ask. OK, I just couldn't get it here. But I'll have the first vanilla reaction for you, OK? OK. Uh, listen, um, the stuff you've been sending lately, no complaints. We're glad you're over there. Alex, what happened? Did you have a heart transplant or something? Why do you say that? No offense, I'm just not used to your praise. Tony, this is Marcos. I'll get back to you. What? Marcos for Ben. Hello. Ben, how are you? Who the hell is this? I'm busy. It's Marcos. Ben, it's the president. Um, Mr. President, how are you? I haven't seen you for a while, Ben. No. Why don't you come and have a little talk? But it's midnight. There's a car waiting outside your office. You must know. Haven't seen you for a long time. How is your paper selling? Fifteen, twenty thousand. I heard it was a lot more than that. Well, I haven't checked for the past few weeks. 